Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Rick. Oh my gosh. This is this is incredible. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I know you all have such busy lives, and so it means so much that everyone would be here. I want to first and foremost thank God. Gracias a Dios. Because without uh, God's blessings, truthfully, nothing ever can ever transpire. And uh, yeah, I just got off a plane, so I'm a little tired, a little jet lagged, but I would not miss this for the world. I want to thank the National Hispanic Media Coalition, Alex Nogales, uh, for being, for spearheading and being a powerhouse. And all of you, part of NHMC, there's so many names, so I don't, I, I can't. And I want to thank Rick Garcia for being nice to me when I started at Fox 11. Yeah, he was the big sports guy, and I was like, oh my God, it's Rick. So it was, I remember that like yesterday. Uh, big boy, oh my gosh, I feel like yesterday when I was here and I was watching you get your award. Uh, such a, a, an amazing uh, experience to be here with you as well. Laura Diaz, come on. Laura Diaz, the first Latina anchor mainstream. Talk about opening doors. Thank you, Laura. I want to also thank um, the biggest boss in the room for me right now anyway. My mom, <laughs> mommy, my beautiful mother. Thank you, mom, for teaching me what it means not to give up, what it means to have faith, what it means to believe in yourself, even when other people may think differently. This is a tough business. Sometimes you're too this or you're too that. But when you have an amazing mother and my father who would be here today, but he's taking care of my brother, um, it's incredible. And that is a gift to have them that give you strength and, and teach you to believe in yourself. And then you could pass that on to other people, especially in your storytelling. Um, sorry about that. I want to thank my boss, Andy Russell, who is here, president of PBS. Thank you, Andy, for coming today. Uh, I, you know, again, you don't get anywhere. You don't get anywhere on your own. It really does take a village. And so I thank bosses like Andy for giving me the opportunity to be a host at PBS. I thank Jason Ball, a news director at KTLA, and Chris Knutson, our assistant news director, and Lynette Romero, who's here, fellow reporter, and they are at table here at KTLA. I thank... Robin Bertolucci, who is the KFI, as you saw, news director, uh, oh, excuse me, program director, uh, for giving me an incredible opportunity. Let me tell you, talk radio is tough. <laughs> I thought it was easy, but I was like, whoa, maybe this TV job's easier than I, you know, t talk radio is tough. So it's been an incredible opportunity, and it's an incredible platform so that, especially in these times when our voices are more important than ever, I am thankful for that platform. And I also want to mention quickly, to, and I'm so grateful to be in company with my fellow honorees, Sid Garcia. You know I love you. I love Sid Garcia. Let me tell you something. When I started in the news, trying to break into it, because I thought I was going to be a lawyer. I was going to law school, got accepted to law school, got a scholarship. Can you tell? Because I can talk. And I didn't do it. Uh, I wanted to sue doctors. And funny enough, now um, I'm very much involved with the doctor, and I want to thank my novio for being here, left his patients. Uh, he's a neurologist stroke specialist at UCLA, Dr. Lucas Restrepo. Thank you for being here. Aren't you glad I didn't go to law school? <laughs> but I decided that this was the way to, to be a voice for people who did not have one. As you saw, you met my brother Christian. And Sid Garcia was so kind to me and helped me at CCNMA to get in and understand how to get into news media. And then I met this lovely lady one day at the courthouse covering a story, and I thought, wow, she's so nice and she's so sexy. Dunia, hello. And I didn't know we were neighbors. You were in Watts? I was in Lawndale. Hello. <laughs> and Lalo, congratulations. And I love how you ended your speech. OK. <laughs> And Luis, we haven't met, but congratulations. And by the way, my novio is a total academic, so he's like, oh, a poet laureate? Oh my god, he's a huge fan. So we're very excited, and it's such great, it's such an honor to be in company of, of you all. I wanted to say to today is that in thinking about what I wanted to share with you today, you know, this is a really important time, more than ever. I just got off a plane from Spain, and I cannot tell you how many people, when they found out I was American, because here's an interesting point, what does an American look like, right? When you talk about diversity, what does an American look like? I was in Spain, nobody thought I was American. I had a German girl come up to me, she goes, do you speak a little bit of English? I said, 
No, no, I'm kidding. I told her I was American, <laughs> so I helped. I translated. But the point is, what is this nation made of? It's made of immigrants. It's made of people from diverse backgrounds, diverse religious beliefs. And that is our strength. That's what makes us powerful. What am I? Some of you might assume I'm full Mexican. And when you hear me speak Spanish, you might think I'm, I don't know, Colombian, Cuban, whatever. Well, guess what? My mom is from El Salvador. My dad's from Mexico. Yes, we can coexist. It's amazing, right? I know. <laughs> vaya pues. Y es cierto, yo también digo vaya pues, Dunia. But that's the beauty and that's the strength. And I've also been very blessed because in my life, I've been raised with this incredible soul, which is Christian, my brother, who you met. And Christian has taught me that you don't necessarily have to speak the same language, right? To communicate. It's here at your heart. It's understanding that I'm so blessed to have, have had these jobs and news. And I thank every one of those victims and, and families I've had to interview in the midst of their most awful, horrific moment in their lives. And I have to go in front of them and ask them about, how do you feel? What's the pain like? To tell a story. But I, I, I thank them for sharing and opening up those stories with me so that we can be journalists and, and tell stories. And now, in light of what's happening in this country, where there is a nominee that is not even allowing a certain news outlet from asking questions, more than ever is each and every one of your voice that important. And you cannot be afraid to ask the question. And will people will come to you and say, oh, you're being liberal, you're being conservative. Let it be their opinion. You have to seek the truth. We have to seek the truth. And I think more than ever in journalism is, you know, as I, as I was coming back to the States on the plane, and boy, I had a lot of hours to think about this, I realized that the most important part of a democracy is so dependent upon how strong its journalism is. And therefore, I just remind you today to keep that in mind when you tell each and every one of those stories. And news managers, thank you for being here and understanding diversity and embracing it and knowing how important it is. And to NHMC and everyone else who supports organizations like the NHMC, we can do this together, but we're only as strong as, as we walk forward together. And so it's kind of funny because I have all these jobs, right? And I tell people, maybe I'm Jamaican, actually. <laughs> right? But we can't forget that words are incredibly powerful. You can lift someone up or you can crush them, right? So use your words wisely. Let's seek the truth together. And thank you so much for bestowing me with this award. And I accept it on behalf of all of those families and stories that I've had the blessing to tell. And also on behalf of all the families with children with disabilities that have allowed me to come into their homes and tell their stories and understand that I get it because we have that story at home. And I'm a caregiver and I'm thankful. I'm, I, I, it's hard as it may be at times, I'm blessed because it has made me who I am today and we're all the product of our experiences. So thank you so much. God bless you. Los quiero mucho y si se puede.